the narcissist wants to be you. I have never seen anyone talk about this topic, but this is definitely something that I have noticed in my own experiences. Where the narcissist has tried to be more like me. When the narcissist first meets you, they are in awe of your qualities, abilities and talents. They admire them. They are amazed with everything that you are. They even feel this urge to become more like you. To adopt some of the same qualities, abilities and talents that you might have. In my own experiences, I noticed that narcissists would try to become more like me. They would engage in the same interests and activities that I enjoyed. They would like the same cars or clothes. They would take an interest in veganism. They would listen to the same music. To the point where it almost became an obsession. But this is just what narcissists do. This is what a narcissist is. At a young age, they accepted that who they really were was not enough. They abandoned their true self and created a false self who is everything they wish they could be. This false self is constantly changing. It is always adapting to whoever it is around or whatever environment it is in. Whatever will make them appeal to those around them. Because all they're really looking for is attention and admiration. Narcissistic supply. They want to feel like they are worth something. They want to feel like they are enough. And when they look at us, we look pretty appealing. They like what we're about. So they desire to be more like us. They feel like what they're doing isn't really working. It isn't getting them the supply that they need. So they begin to mimic us. They become an imitation. They observe what we are doing and then they try to replicate it. But it isn't real. And it was never what they were really about. They've just imitated us in an attempt to get the attention and admiration that we receive. But by doing that, they have then abandoned their own identity. They have lost who they really were. And now, they're nothing more than a second-rate version of who you are. They're like a bargain store version of you. Because you're the real deal. You're the original. 
They're just trying to be you. And by doing that, they end up losing who they really are. Which is where their true power was anyway. But by trying to be you, they have lost their true power. And now their survival depends on seeking attention and admiration from the people around them. By trying to be a second rate version of you. And this isn't just something we're seeing in narcissists. This is so common these days. So many children these days lose their identities at a very young age. From watching their favorite celebrities, whether it's Kylie Jenner or Justin Bieber, they want to be more like them. Because they see that they're getting a lot of attention. And maybe these children never got the love and attention that they needed from their parents. And maybe that's why they felt the need to become more like a celebrity instead of being who they really are. You've only got to look on social media to see that everyone is just an imitation of someone else that they admire. They're not really being themselves. And they may think that it's working for them. They may think that they're getting more friends. They're getting attention from the opposite sex. But none of those people really know who you are. Because even you don't know who you are anymore. When you've abandoned who you really are to become an imitation of someone else. It's just fake attention. Fake admiration. Because it has nothing to do with the true character and personality. But that's just how it is these days. There's no value in authenticity. It's all about how many likes you can get. It's all about the attention and admiration. People will even go under the knife, just become more like a celebrity they admire. Because they really see no value in who they are. They believe that they're not good enough. So they try to imitate someone else. Because they think that will get them the attention and adoration they needed. But even then, no one's really admiring them. They're just admiring who they think they are. So it's all fake. Their entire lives become a lie. Every friendship, every relationship is built on a house of cards. Which means that it could collapse at any moment. Because it isn't real or genuine. It's built on lies and fabrications. It has no foundation. 
It has no underlying basis or principle. It has no real meaning or purpose. Other than someone just trying to use a situation to get what they want. Someone who's just concerned with their own advantage or pleasure. Which is very narcissistic. And can only result in failure in the end. Because it was never real or genuine. It was built on lies and fabrications. If you want to build something real and genuine, it has to be generated from within. Your worth has to come from within. You have to believe in yourself before you expect anyone to believe in you. You can learn from other people. You can let them inspire you. But you cannot be someone else. And you shouldn't try to be either. You were put on this earth to be you. And that's where your true power is. You are enough just as you are. You just have to realize it. And not listen to anyone else who tells you otherwise. Because anyone who tries to make you believe that you're not enough hasn't realized their own power. And you may not see it, but they're probably trying to be someone else. Because they believe that they're not enough. You have to be real with people. You have to present who you really are and what you're really about. Someone will, some will resonate with you. Some won't. That's life. But it does not mean that something is wrong with you. You cannot please everyone. And you shouldn't try to. All you can be is who you are. And you shouldn't try to be anyone else. If someone doesn't accept you as you are, then maybe that friendship or relationship just isn't meant to be. But it does not mean that you need to change who you are or what you're about just to please them. You should only change yourself if it's something that you want to do. If it's something that truly resonates with you. It has to come from within. Or it will never be a permanent change. It will just be something that only exists on the surface. Because it's not something you're really about. It's not something that really resonates with you. In this life, we can only be ourselves. You can try to be someone else, but you will never succeed. And people can try to turn you into someone else for their own agenda, but they will never succeed either. 
So while the narcissist may want to be you, they will never be you. They will only be a second rate version of you. It's superficial. There is no underlying support or foundation. So it will crack under pressure. It will never last. It will never withstand the storms of life. And it will only result in disaster in the end. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future video for my future for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at notfathercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.